cryotherapy is expensive. So go to your local Walmart, stand in the freezer for a minute and a half, get that, oh, it's just great. Saves you a ton of money. Anyway, we are at Walmart and we are going to go through the frozen section to get you the best frozen items, whether it's paleo, whether it's keto, whether it's gluten-free, just what is something that you can lean on when you're on a budget in the frozen food section? So let's check it out, let's see what they've got. You know, frozen foods are not all bad. There's a lot of, a lot of times they end up actually preserving a lot of the ingredients, like frozen veggies. I have lots of frozen veggies because they are flash frozen. It makes it so that you don't end up having the oxidation and the breakdown that occurs. So a lot of times if you look properly, you can find the right thing. All right, first thing I wanna jump into. There's some really interesting stuff. I found this from this company called Real Good, and it seems like Walmart has a lot of them. This particular one, these are enchiladas with four grams of net carb for the green and two grams of net, oh, I'm sorry, two, oh, sorry, four grams of net carb for the chicken, two grams for the pork. And let's take a look at what's in these because I've seen a few of their brand, uh, of this here and it's really good stuff. Pork, chicken tortilla, chicken tortilla. So they make a tortilla out of chicken. So they use chicken breast, Parmesan cheese, they press it all together. There is some sunflower oil and natural flavors, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but you're talking frozen here and we're talking Walmart. No offense to Walmart, but come on, we're talking budget mostly and talking accessibility. The fact that this is even there is great. Uh, so the tomatillo sauce, some xanthan gum, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's not the end of the world. All in all, two enchiladas, 190 calories, 20 grams of protein, pretty darn clean. Then we have this chicken one, also the chicken tortilla, same concept, same thing with the tomatillo, except this time we have the ch cooked chicken, which chicken breast, chicken broth, water, chicken, salt, garlic, onion powder, no sodium phosphate, no sodium benzoate, no potassium sorbate, none of that stuff. And with this one, we've got pork just as a first ingredient with nothing else. That is awesome. I'm gonna actually try these because I have not tasted them. If you're interested in me doing any kind of like taste test or anything on this kind of stuff, let me know down below in the comment section because I did a video on the Chipotle uh, keto bowl and it just crushed because people like to actually see me tasting stuff and eating stuff and giving my opinion on it. So let's try those. Then there's this other one and I promise this video, I swear on my life, is not sponsored by Real Good Foods. Like I'm not saying that. I just noticed that they've got some good stuff here. Okay, then they've got stuffed chicken nuggets, jalapeno and white cheddar with two grams of net carbs, or they have artichoke and cheese. Artichoke and cheese is chicken breast, mozzarella cheese. Okay, so they're making the crust with that. Uh, let's see, skim milk, artichoke hearts, ricotta cheese, whey, milk, vinegar. That is, uh, no, <laughs> why? The grapeseed and soybean oil. Why, 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 real good foods. I mean, go with the other cheap route. Go sunflower oil, but don't go soybean oil on me. Okay, let's try the whole, because what's good about this one is the artichoke is a super good long chain inulin, very good fiber that promotes the production of what are called short chain fatty acids. Things like butyrate, propionate, acetate, which all drive proper glucose metabolism and fat utilization within the body. We don't think that fiber is important, but the right kind of fiber communicates with our body to be able to utilize nutrients better, helping our metabolism. So in this one, the artichoke is such a win, such a fan of that. Yep, same kind of thing. Salt, grapeseed, and or soybean oil. Now, I know that it's pretty low on the list. It's way down there, but soybean oil is just a no-go for me. So unfortunately, Real Good Foods, I have to 86 you on that. One more thing to look at, uncured pepperoni, little, bake, little pizza bites. Let's try the pepperoni one first. Nice low carb. Okay, we have three grams of net carbs in this one. Um, crust is the same chicken thing. I'm looking for any standout ingredients here. Natural flavors, sunflower oil, a little standout, but not terrible. No nitrites, nice in the pepperoni. Ooh, that is nice. I am all a fan of that. No nitrites, no nitrates. What about the bacon one? Okay, we've got same thing. No nitrites or nitrates in the bacon, except for those naturally occurring in celery, which is totally nat natural. The sunflower oil is not the hottest thing in the world. So are these little pizzas? I'm gonna try one of these. I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna try the pepperoni one. My son might like to try it. Okay, what is this? We got happy food cauliflower bites. Savory breaded cauliflower bites with a honey sriracha sauce. Hmm. 
Whoa, that's a lot of sugar. Okay, a little upsetting there. Oh man, no, no. See, you take something like cauliflower and then you bread it in a bunch of garbage, put it with a sugary sauce, and people are still gonna think, I'm getting my veggies in. Don't fall victim to this stuff. You are just as bad off getting like these potato skins right next to them. Like, I mean, so, but look at this. Also, we've got soy sauce, a bunch of gluten from the wheat. We have, wow, wheat flour. We have, what else do we have? Yeast, sodium bicarbonate, sodium alginate, soy flour, milk protein concentrate. Man, honey, ketchup. I mean, there's no high fructose corn syrup, but there's a bunch of canola oil. No, it, it's, it's one step up, I guess, but no thanks. Looking very carefully here. Oh, let's take a look at like uh, life, because we, what's this? Yeah, here, we got to look carefully, right? Okay, look at this. This life cuisine, we have low carb lifestyle, uncured turkey bacon, or tomato and spinach. What is this? Okay, cottage cheese, nice. Whey, salt, carrageenan, ooh, mono locust. Okay, there's a lot of weird stuff in there. Um, Let's see, no nitrate. Okay, you know what? It's not as bad as I thought. Like even the turkey bacon is no nitrites or nitrates, but we have carrageenan in there, which I'm not a big fan of. Non-fat milk powder, stuff like that. Uh, less than 2% of whey, salt, maltodextrin. I guess, you know, if you're on a budget, that's not a bad price, but you go to Walmart, or, I mean, excuse me, you go to Costco and you can get like their egg bites for less price than this. Um, what about tomato, spinach and egg white? Yeah, see this is 280 calories versus 190. This is egg whites, cottage cheese. Still got the carrageenan and stuff in it. Um, okay, it makes my cut, but I wouldn't recommend a bunch of it, okay? Let's see. Here's a lifestyle bowl, low carb lifestyle, uh, meat lovers cauliflower pizza bowl. Once again, mechanically separated chicken, that's exactly the kind of stuff we want to look for. Ooh, look at this. That makes me question the brand altogether. BHA, BHT, two of the worst possible preservatives you could ever have. Scary, scary stuff. I'm, that's, it's scary that that is even in this stuff anymore. Like that we even still put that in there. Here's a couple other things. There's a pepperoni. Let's start with a, a three cheese pizza. It's a cauliflower crust pizza. Crust, ah, they're doing the whole thing. Cauliflower. <coughs> Cauliflower, rice flour, water, flax meal. That's kind of cool. You know what? This isn't too bad. It's actually, that's actually not too bad at all. A little modified cornstarch. It's definitely not keto. I mean, look at the ground of carbs. Okay, but it is cauliflower, rice flour. It is a decent gluten-free pizza. It's a little expensive. Actually, 418. It's not bad. So not keto, but I would say this is like a 6 out of 10 on a Thomas scale. 10 being perfect. Um, so yeah, I would say if you're in a pinch and you want to have a gluten-free pizza for five bucks or so, not bad. Let's see. Meatless lifestyle. Uh, I'm going to pass on that one. That one looks hideous. Um, let's see about pizzas. Pizzas can be tricky because you run into that same thing that we just talked about, like the rice flour, all that stuff. By the way, I just want to mention Thrive Market, who I talk about all the time, that delivers the groceries to your doorstep, they have some frozen options. So if you go to Thrive Market and you use the link that's down below in the description, you will see when you go to the Thrive Market website, when you sort by different categories, they have a frozen category. They have some delicious like primal kitchen frozen meals. They, they have a lot of stuff. But outside of the frozen stuff, if you're sick of going to the grocery store, I mean, I like to go to the grocery store to do these videos, but having my groceries shipped and delivered right to my doorstep saves me so much time and time is money. So I don't care who you are, your time is worth something. So there's a link down below. I highly recommend them. They have been a supporter of this channel for a long time. So thank you for the sponsorship Thrive, but also thank you for helping out my millions of subscribers. I've been able to help them reach a million members on Thrive. And it's just, it's awesome to see how many people are happy with it. So use that link down below and you can get a special free gift when you join Thrive Market using that link. So check them out, get your groceries delivered to your doorstep, and don't forget to check out their frozen food section. They're really good at shipping it and keeping it frozen. It doesn't thaw out on the way or on your doorstep. So just check them out down below in the description. It's called Thrive Market. We have more of this real good food stuff, which I mentioned these on my breakfast haul, actually. Check this out. Stuffed chicken, broccoli and cheddar cheese. We have 
five grams of carbs in one chicken breast, two of which is fiber, so three grams of net carbs. Chicken crust is made from chicken and Parmesan cheese. Wow, that's so cool. They do have some grapeseed oil in there. Filling, it's better than soy. Filling is broccoli, cheddar cheese, milk, Monterey. Look at, I mean, there's no weird preservatives. It's really not bad. So pretty cool find there. Uh, I actually have some of those from my breakfast haul. I ate one of them uh, in a different video, or if not from a different video, from a different time I found these. But then we have, ooh, roasted tomato. Wait, sorry, here's some artichoke. Creamy spinach and artichoke. Yeah, this one's got the artichoke. It has that long chain inulin. This one is good, good, good stuff. Four grams of net carbs, one more carb than the broccoli cheddar. So this is really cool. Again, not the cheapest frozen item. Okay, you've got $5.38. or $5 I mean, for that, you could go out and get something almost. Uh, I am in California, so these prices are quite a bit inflated compared to other places. What's this Power Bowl? Lentils and veggies on top of brown red rice, red quinoa, black barley with green sesame tahini sauce. Okay, cooked lentils, broccoli, water, edamame, asparagus, green zucchini, multigrains, water. I'm not the biggest fan of grains, but come on, this is pretty cool. Tahini, which is very good antioxidant profile, pumpkin seed, 2% or less of red wine vinegar, agave syrup, olive oil. Yes, healthy choice. I'm proud of you. I seriously am proud of you. Very proud of you. This is a win. This Power Bowl is a great find for $3.50. It's not keto, but that is great. This same kind of context. Cooked chicken, sea salt. Pretty darn, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that is good. Okay, it is not keto, but if you are looking for a healthy frozen dish, that is not bad at all. Heck yes. Ooh, here's one with, this one might even be keto, because this one's made with rice cauliflower. So let's see what's in this. Grain-free, gluten-free, low carb. We have 17 grams of total carbs, seven which is fiber, so 10 grams of net carbs, but a lot of it's probably coming from just starches and veggies, and it's got the white kidney beans. So if you just ditch to the white kidney beans, you're probably cutting out another five grams of carbs right there. Sweet! Seasoned cooked chicken, which is chicken breast, water, olive oil, brown sugar, sea salt, natural flavorings. You gotta live with that a little bit. Cauliflower, uh, which is going to be in the sauce, which is water, olive oil, no soy, Parmesan cheese, uh, part skim milk, Red wine vinegar, tapioca starch, garlic puree, a little bit of sugar, yellow squash, cooked white kidney beans, tomatoes, chard, kale, spinach. Ditch the squash, ditch the kidney beans, and you've got yourself like a four or five gram net carb dish. Healthy choice, that is really impressive to see. Can you see the sincerity? Like that is actually, I, I am surprised to see that. I really am. They have been trying to figure it out for a while. They took a lesson from simplicity and they figured it out. Compare that to that Life Cuisine stuff that actually had BHT in it, scares the ever-living daylights out of me. Uh, so in ranking, Power Bowl, this one takes the first place for sure. Then I would go Power Bowls, this one next, and then this one next after that. So I'm gonna get this basil chicken. I'm actually, you know what, this one's low carb, so I'll actually eat it in my house. Uh, everyone's keto in my house right now, I don't wanna waste this one, but I'll eat these and try these. So these are cauliflower, so I'm gonna get those. Um, Sweet, okay, got some good stuff already. Yeah, these enlightened keto bars are pretty awesome. Same kind of thing, I mean, they're caloric, right? Like the one bar is gonna be 180 calories. Water, cream, erythritol, egg yolks, Dutch cocoa, which we always want because it's higher potassium, non-GMO soluble corn fiber. People have a lot of beef about soluble corn fiber. It's not bad. It's technically a legit fiber. Okay, it's a, a fermentable demonstrable. It's literally a fiber. Even though it's derived from corn, you always wanna look for non-GMO soluble corn fiber, okay? And then vegetable glycerin, which is pretty much a mute point. Milk protein concentrate, kind of a filler, not the best. It gives it some uh, like creaminess. Natural flavors, always questionable. We never know. Okay, monk fruit, the usual kind of stuff. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty minimal ingredient list. Like if you compare that to Magnum Infinity Chocolate, we have, Milk, sugar, cream, chocolate, cocoa butter, processed with alkali, cocoa nibs, milk fat, cocoa, fructose, soy less than monoglycerides, locust bean gum, PPGR, guar gum, carrageenan nut. So still like people will say, oh, 
it's still junk food. Uh, yeah, it is, but like junk food to junk food, apples to apples, this is a different level of junk compared to this. This is a treat. I don't consider this pure junk. I figure it's something a treat. This, no offense to Magnum, I'm not trying to throw them under the bus. I don't know them. I'm sure they're great people. I'm just using them as an example. That is much more like they throw everything in the kitchen sink in there just to create a product that's going to have a good margin and still taste good. So if you're interested in a lot of the frozen breakfast foods, I recommend you check out the Walmart breakfast foods haul that went live earlier this month on my channel, just because that way I can be respectful of everyone's time here. So feel free to just search Delauer Walmart breakfast. The ice cream is kind of interesting. Uh, oh, that's kind of funny. You know, I just bagged on this uh, Magnum and now they have a non-dairy version, which is kind of a, a plus. They're making steps in the right direction. So lots of different keto ice creams and things like that, right? But what we have to remember is just because it's keto doesn't make it better even on keto. Like, let me show you something here. Let's look at regular Halo Top versus keto Halo Top. Okay. 450 calories versus 290 calories. Yes, the carb content is still going to be high, right? Like we have in the, uh, let's see, on the regular one, we have 62 grams of carbs in a container. On this one, we have 44 grams of carbs in a container. Okay, we still have sugar, alcohols, and stuff to account for. But the bottom line is that we are really, like if you're going to have a bunch of ice cream and have a cheat meal, and I know I've said this before, a cheat meal where you're coming off of keto, very clear, coming off of keto, it does not make sense to have the keto ice cream. It's just going to be double the calories. Have this Halo Top. If you are trying to stay in keto and have a little treat, have the keto one, but do not have a whole bin of it. You do not need 500 extra calories unless you are like going to just not eat lunch or something. So in this case, have a small amount, okay? Control with the keto one. This one, binge and have some fun. Like, you know, have it be your cheat meal. This is really good stuff, this Kato. So good, not keto though. But look at this, organic avocado, non-organic avocado. <laughs> so they put avoc organic avocado first, then non-organic avocado. Uh, probably just to make it a little cheaper. But the thing is, is uh, avocados don't need to be organic. They're totally fine. Organic cane sugar, so there's definitely sugar. Tapioca starch, chocolate, cocoa butter, organic vanilla extract, peppermint, organic guar gum. So largely organic, but doesn't get the organic certification because they have some non-organic avocado. Yes, it has sugar in it. That is a problem. You can tell them in the ice cream aisle, there are children screaming. I understand. Okay, it's all good. Um, point is, it's a good profile of things. No preservatives, no weird stuff in it. So it's really interesting. I'm actually gonna grab some of this flavor because I really do want to try it. I've never tried this flavor, I only tried the chocolate. It's not keto, but it is a better alternative overall than regular ice cream. And calories, you're gonna look close to like 700-ish calories in a whole container. So it's calorically dense. You know what, yeah, I'm gonna get it just so I can try it, but it's scary to have it in the house. And if you were lucky enough and loyal enough to stick through that entire video, then you learned about the ice creams. But those that didn't stick around through the whole video didn't necessarily learn about the ice creams. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy this stuff. I'm gonna sign off. But as always, let me know in the comment sections what you want me to talk about. And let me know what kind of ice cream you want me to do. Would you like me to do an ice cream review? That's how I'm gonna know who is actually watching this video. Because if you comment about the ice cream review, then I know you stuck through the end. So comment, let me know if you want me to do an ice cream review and I can break down Halo Top, Halo Top Keto, Enlightened, Enlightened Keto, and I can break down some of the avocado ones, some of the haagen ones. Talk about the best ones that are gonna be for lower carb lifestyles, but I need your help in letting me know if it's something that you wanna see. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I will see you tomorrow.